Heartbreak can be so hard. I can remember just feeling like I can't eat. I can't think. Like, I can remember a heartbreak so bad where I was just sitting there like a fiend, y'all. I was shaking. I was just like, it was just so hard to get over this person. And I cried and I cried and I just replay every little thing in my head and try to wish and pray that things can go back to the way it was. And, oh man, heartbreak is never easy. But there are some ways to handle heartbreak and being someone who have been through heartache a time or two. I'm here to give you guys some suggestions on things that will help you get past the heartbreak and, you know, just some exercises that might just really help you move on so that you can feel better, just be in a better place. Like, I'm telling you, that sick feeling, that shit is no joke. Man, when you just feel like you can't do nothing, you can't, like, you just need that person in order to breathe. So I really thought that this video was very important. It's something that I've been through. And I just want to share some things that, you know, help me get past it. And just some thoughts to remember so that you know that things will always get better. If you're interested in this video, please keep watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Um, Be Divine Minded. This channel is all about loving and learning and growing and sharing and traveling and just being divine minded. Make sure you guys hit the bell so that you can be notified whenever I make a video. I'm very sporadic with my videos, even though I said I'm going to try to do it every week. I mean, I am a single mom and I'm busy and I have a lot of things going on. So you better hit the bell so that you can be notified so you can be the first one to check out my videos. Hit the like button. And please make sure you comment. It really helps the channel when you comment, when you like, when you share, when you subscribe. And um, yeah, make sure you check out my other videos. And yeah, let's keep watching so we can talk about this heartbreak, y'all. Apologies. 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 Let me introduce myself properly. properly. I'm your future and your prophecy. Navigate the way to the top, girl. Just follow me. Follow me. Follow me. I love playing Monopoly. 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 Your body is my property. My property. Your mind is my motivation. Play your cards right to get the whole world out of me. The first thing that I think that anybody should do when they are faced with a heartbreak is to feel it. I mean, a lot of times we do things to try to cope with what we're going through. And I think that we really forget to just feel it. We are here on this earth to have these experiences. And a lot of these experiences are here to teach us a lesson. So if you're not gonna feel the pain, feel the hurt, learn the lesson, Learn from your mistakes because in every relationship, it's things that we could have done better as well as things that the other person could have done better. We have to take accountability and understand that everything is a lesson. So in order to really move past the heartbreak, you have to feel that pain. I just broke up in a five-year relationship. This person was a very special person to me. And after five years, we broke up and... I remember trying to hang out with my friends, going to the beach and stuff like that. And it was that Jay-Z and Beyonce song, On The Run. We're in the truck, we're driving to the beach and um, it was girls and guys, you know, we're all going to the beach and I'm sitting there and I'm in the back and that song came on, oh my God, On The Run Part Two. When I tell you, I just broke down and start crying. Like, it's like nothing I can do, no matter how much I try to like just forget about everything and just have fun, hang out with friends, go on dates, whatever. Like my mind was consumed with this person. All I could think about was this person and what happened, what I could have did to change things and praying and wishing that I can go back in time. But, you know, um, honestly, I really felt like that pain that I felt was important because it taught me the lesson of what not to do in my next relationship. It taught me how oh, I never wanna feel again. It taught me to watch for red flags and certain signs in my next relationship so that I don't get into the same toxic relationship. So I feel like the first thing you can do when you're having a heartbreak is feel that pain. Ask, what is it that I'm supposed to learn from this situation? What am I supposed to learn? You know, I'm feeling this way for a reason. Whenever you feel pain, it's your body, God, the universe, 
It's their way of letting you know that something is wrong. This is not what it's supposed to be like. Come see your body if you feel pain. You know that there's some type of disease. There's some type of issue. You know, some type of something that's not right. Your body is not in equilibrium. That's the same thing that happens with a heartbreak. When you feel that pain in your stomach and your, your gut, you just feel like you can't breathe, you can't eat. That is not healthy living. So what you need to do is see how you got yourself in this situation and never do it again. Feel that pain so that you can learn the lesson and you can move past it and make better decisions for your future. Now, the second thing that I think that this is something you can do at the same time that you're doing the first thing, which is feel the pain. I think you need to disconnect on social media, delete their phone number or their little pet name in your phone, delete the message thread because sometimes you go through and you read those text messages from before and you start getting on in your feelings or they may be in a better place where they're posting, you know, happy and good times and you're still hurting, you know, feeling stressed, what that is going to do is bring rage into your energy. You don't want any type of negative energy. So what you want to do is disconnect, disconnect from social media, disconnect from any mutual friends, unless it's somebody that's really close, disconnect from anything and everything that is connecting you with this person because sometimes old patterns and, and things that you used to do with this person or people that you used to be around with this person, places that you used to go with this person, you know, if you continue to do those things, you're going to continuously think about this person. What I like to do is I like to just deactivate my Facebook for a while. Please, please don't stalk this person on Facebook. Don't look at their friends. Don't see who they're liking on Instagram. That stuff is just going to drive you crazy and bring negative energy into your cipher. You do not want to do those things. I'm telling you, disconnect. So let's get to three. Three is something that I think people should just do regularly anyways, but it's take time out for yourself. Remember the things that you like to do before you got into this relationship. What were your goals? Were there anything that you used to enjoy doing that you stop doing because you're in this relationship now. A lot of times we get in these relationships and our focus completely change, especially women. You know, we kind of mold to whatever glass we're putting. We end up being our husbands and our man's helpers instead of focusing on our own dreams and our own goals. And if you're a man, sometimes you can focus so much on trying to provide for your family and your woman that you forget about all the goals and the things that you set for yourself. So this is what I think. I think number three is just really not number one, but it's focus on yourself, focus on your, you know, things that make you happy. Spend more time doing self-care, you know, your pedicures, your nails. If you're a woman, fix your makeup, fix your hair, you know, go shopping, do things that make you feel good, whatever it is, read books, spend time alone, go to the spa. If you're a man, buy some new cologne, hang out with your friends, do things that you could not do when you were in a relationship. Hang out with your friends and just, you know, live that single life and do the things that you could not do when you were in a relationship. It helps you appreciate a woman or a man when you finally get one again, you know, and you can really just look at the things that you did or the things that was probably petty in your relationship that you could possibly have done differently. A lot of times we get into a relationship and, you know, we get comfortable, you know, we get comfortable. We stop doing things that we used to do. We stop caring about the other person's feelings. And a lot of times when we lose someone and we're heartbroken, Nine times out of 10, it's really because of something that we could have done better or things that we feel we could have, you know, done differently. Because if, if it's a situation where somebody just really hurts you and you know you gave it all you got, I feel like you're not going to be as hurt as if you, you know, you could have done better or you just really did not realize this person was going to leave and they finally just left. So there's different type of heartbreaks. Figure out how to love yourself again. Figure out... What are some things that you enjoy doing and get back to that? And that is going to take you back to a happy place and help you, um, you know, the time that you're taking doing self-care, doing what makes you happy is less time that you're going to have to think about that person that has you so heartbroken. Four, set some goals. And what I like to do... Um, what my goals is weekly, I like to just write a list of everything that I want to do, you know, and some things are just impossible to do in a week, 
but I still like to write these goals down and I like say if it's a goal that is just impossible to do in a week. It's something that's going to take maybe six months to a year. What I do is I write little subcategories under that of steps that I need to take to get to the big goal. I write down a list of goals and when I'm done with each goal, after I achieve the certain goal, I'll check it off. And this keeps my mind busy. It keeps me from thinking about him, wondering what he's doing or stressing about the situation. You know, you have to find things that keep you busy. What's the best thing to do other than set some goals and level up? Writing a list of goals and achieving these goals will really keep you busy and keep you from thinking about that person that broke your heart. Seriously, level up. It's always something to do. You can never be bored. The time and energy that you're putting to this person you could be getting yourself to a better place. I know you love them. They're good people, all that, but love you first. So the last thing that I think that you can do, this is my fifth thing that will help you get over a heartbreak, is just to acknowledge time. With time, all wounds will heal. If you give anything enough time, you'll realize that, damn, the shit I was stressing about last year is not even important to me. You know, and really just think about Anybody that you've been with in the past that you thought you would die if you wasn't with them, think about those times and like, damn, I actually got over them and I was healthy, I was living, I was fine. You know, knowing that will help you get over a heartbreak because sometimes, you know, we sit back and we think that this person is just everything to us. But with time, you'll realize that the only thing that you need is you and God that is within you and air and earth and sun and can't no human being give you that stuff so i feel like just allow time to pass and eventually you'll get over this heartbreak understand that you are what you're waiting for you know nobody is worth being miserable and stressed out about um i know that we all go through it we're all going to go through it if you have it get ready you know but love is a powerful thing and love have the power to just make you feel like you're a million bucks. But love also has the power to make you feel like you're just a piece of garbage under the garbage in some dirty food with a rotten fish on top. <laughs> make sure you guys just learn to love yourself first. If you learn to love yourself first, and this is something that I feel like we're all doing, you know, this is the process of life, learning love, self-love. Because when you have self-love, you understand that certain things that you cry and stress about isn't even worth it. You have your whole life to give and there's so many fish in the sea. So make sure if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Yeah, find me on Instagram at Be Divine Minded. It's late at night, y'all. I just wanted to make this video. That's why my energy is kind of low. You know, you heard the little low voice. Just remember to be divine minded. Self-love is the best love.